So you think about getting um, a, a Gigabyte uh, M32U or a M20AU for its KVM function. Um, let me tell you, you, you should know this before you get it. Um, um, it doesn't remember the window location um, when you switch between computers, which is very, very annoying, which, um, you know, making this function almost um, n not useless, but um, make this function uh, not as convenient as it may out to be. So, for example, I'm on my uh, personal computer at the moment. So, that's my laptop there. That's my personal computer. That's my work computer, okay? So, they're both connected to the M32U um, and I'm using the KVM function. Uh, so, on my personal computer, say I spent like a good three minutes setting up my window, you know, making making it look nice, uh, uh, you know, so, so that I can work with, I bring, um, see, I don't use this um, main, um, my laptop, uh, my laptop display, I don't use it, uh, I mean, I use it to, like, display some um, things that I don't really need, you know, but, but I keep it open, like, I, for example, I display this uh, time pie chart here, you know, but... This is my main monitor. My workspace uh, is on the M32U. Okay, I set up everything. I make, you know, make all the window look nice and shit. Uh, there is, okay? For example, this will be my main workspace. I have all my windows at certain locations, okay? Uh, what the f Now I switch this is what I want. I switch to my work computer. This is my work computer. Okay. Now for some reason, my work computer uh, KVM memorizes the uh, the window location. Okay. Uh, for example, I have set up like this. Now when I switch back to my personal computer. You see how you reset everything? Now, my windows are gone. Uh, it's back, um, see this, this was here before, right? It's back up the top. Uh, this was uh, supposed to be here. Okay. Now you just jump to another window. And the mouse, um, the mouse DPI, the mouse speed, this monitor doesn't memorize the mouse speed, so it um it forgets the mouse speed. So now it's like really fast. So 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 if you have your like Logitech mouse that's connected to the monitor, um it doesn't it doesn't memorize your setting. Um it will reset. So every time you switch, you have to uh, far out. So because it's so fast, um so. Every time you switch back, you have to open up your Logitech. Uh, um, you have to open up your Logitech software, and um, you have to do this again. So you have to open up this because when you switch back, it will be on your onboard memory. You have to open up Logitech to switch to your uh, basically computer software, and then it will switch back to your profile. Uh, I'll show you. So not only it forgets um, your window location, that so you, so you have to spend like a good two three minutes setting it up. It also forgets your mouse setting. Um, I'm sure it probably forgets your keyboard setting if you have your custom. If you like use a Logitech keyboard that has um, a custom software on your personal computer. Uh, now switched back to my work computer. It memorizes the window for some reason. It does memorize all the window location. It doesn't reset. And uh, you see how because I can't install Logitech software on my work computer, it switched back to onboard memory on my Logitech mouse. Again, when I switch back, you hear this sound. Ding, 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 ding. It forgets the window location. You see. Um, Everything's reset back again into random places 
and the mouse is back to uh, my onboard memory. So I have to uh, uh, yeah, see the Logitech software closed again. So I have to reopen my Logitech. So you see how every time I switch back to my personal computer, I have to set it up again. I have to open up my Logitech. I have to set up the Windows. Um, yeah. So the KVM function is not what it is advertised to be. It's supposed to be, um, you're supposed to be able to switch between your computers easily with one set of keyboard and mouse. But every time you switch, you have to re re reset your computer. Um, as if you just restart your computer. So it's making this KVM like, you know, almost useless. I mean, it's not, I mean, if you have, yeah, it's not, it's not as um, convenient as it is advertised. Um, so what KVM is advertised to be, I'm just going to Google Gigabyte some. So KVM M32U, right? So the KVM feature is supposed to be, uh, you know, easily switch, uh, you know, yeah, so what's this advertised KVM shit? Uh, Key feature KVM. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I can't find I can't find the advertised KVM uh, feature here, but. Just um, bear in mind that this is what you're gonna encounter uh, when you get the M32U, okay? The KVM function is a headache to use, um, you know, because it doesn't uh, memorize your window location. It basically resets everything. For some reason, it doesn't reset when I go to my work computer, but it resets um, when I um, go to my uh, personal laptop. You see the ding ding sound? Yeah. See, resets again. All right, my uh, my browser is gone. Um, so yeah.